understand what the questions will be this week. Right? Yeah, can't, can't get. <laughs> yeah. What, what does this feel like for you? How, is it awkward or is it? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to treat it like every other game. Uh, there's a different dynamic to it, obviously, but uh, you know, I can't really focus on that. I'm just trying to focus, uh, you know, preparation like I have every other game. Um, just getting better every day. So. Do you normally talk to your dad a lot, and is that kind yeah. of something you don't do this week? Is it? Uh, or do you do it? Is you not talk about football? Yeah, I mean, we talk. We talk a lot during the week, usually a couple times. Um, the last time I talked to him was after the North Dakota State game, um, but I'm sure I'll talk to him again before we play him. Obviously, it's not going to be X's and O's or that type of thing. Uh, probably be other than football related, you know, just outside stuff, house life, that type of thing. But yeah, I'll probably talk to him again for sure. So. When, uh, when he went from NIU to Rutgers, I'm sure he probably thought, hey, East Division, West Division probably won't play yet. What was that like when you guys looked at the schedule and, oh, we're going to play Yeah, I mean, he didn't think we were going to play each other at first just because it was you know, opposite sides. And then uh, probably like a couple minutes after he took the job, we looked and yeah, we had the crossover game. Um, we kind of just talked a little smack at first, um, and then you know, now now it's here, so got to go for it. Does it does it make you nervous at all? I mean, does it make him nervous that he from you guys? No, uh, you know, I've seen a couple of his interviews and stuff, and you know what he said is true. He said it's not like he's the offensive uh, coordinator scheming against me or anything like that. So that that definitely helps. If that was the case, I would kind of be a little awkward, I guess. But, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're a wide receiver again, like yeah, it's like a more even. Yeah. Exactly. So. What is, what's your mom doing this week? It's got to be harder on her than anybody. Yeah, it probably is. Um, you know, I think she. I've so she wants her kids and her son to do well, but you know her husband's on the other side too, so she's kind of split. Uh, so she'll probably just be cheering for both teams, I guys. So same with the rest of my family that'll be there. So wear like a half black and gold. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll see what she breaks out. My guess is it'll probably be nothing Iowa or records related, just general general clothing. So. <laughs> Does your brother get a travel this week? Uh, no, no, since he's right shirt. I know they sometimes bring a few red shirts here and there, but I don't know. Uh, well, you had to decommit from him to begin with, right? I did from NIU, yes. So, you know, what was that like for you, that conversation with him once Iowa started getting involved? Because I'm sure he probably wanted his son to play for him. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was kind of a rough, rough time, honestly, uh, just because, yeah, I had the opportunity to play, to play for my dad, but, you know, I didn't know how long he would be at NIU, and Iowa was a great program um, once I visited here. I really couldn't couldn't turn it down. So you know he was happy for me, um, and you know he's always said just that um, he's happy I'm playing at a place like this under a man like Coach Barron. So now you were what on your way to a church camp or something? Uh, yeah, I uh, committed, and then after that I was going on a mission trip. So yeah. do you guys talk a lot? Uh, you know, once in a while, not. Uh, you know, I'm not like telling him scheme stuff or anything like that, but just in general, yeah. I mean, we're kind of, you know, football family, obviously, with me and my brother and, and him. So, you know, just little stuff, yeah, but not, not like too in depth. So. Does he critique you a lot your performance? Uh, you know, in high school, he he would help me out a lot more, um, but now. You know, he leaves the coaching for our coaches, and you know he has stuff he's doing. Um, he, he'll try to like DVR our games and stuff like that, but he's not, you know, telling me oh, you did this wrong here or anything like that. But you know, if I'll make a good play or something like that, they'll say, yeah, you did good, whatever. So. He still gets to your games. I mean, he went to the Rose Bowl, he went to the Big Ten Championship, so it yeah. seems like that's. You know, you still get a chance to see him. Uh, you know, that kind of worked out a little differently when he was at NIU because they played a lot of week games, weekday games, uh, like on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so that was nice. But, yeah, I mean, maybe uh, on, on the bye week he'll have a chance and if the bowl games match up right. So, yeah, but I haven't seen him since uh, probably July, so it'll be it'll be good to see him again for sure. What's that going to be like for you? I mean, you're going out on warm-ups and you look over across the field and there's your dad. I mean, you know, do you control your emotions? Do you try to keep a business-like approach? Yeah, I mean, just try to keep a business like just how I have every other game. Um, you know, I probably won't talk to him until after the game, honestly, um, just because we're both doing our things in warm-ups. He's got to coach his guys and i got to get ready for play. So. so, no, I mean, I'm sure out of the corner of your eye, you're probably... <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll, I'll probably see him. Uh, you know, and there's other 
guys like Coach Ash uh, when I was a little kid. You know, I knew him and stuff like that. But you know, I just got to get ready to play. I can't. I can't worry about that outside stuff. So. I'm sure the emotional side for him is even more difficult because you can take that approach. But with him, he's also got the, the personal element with you on the other sideline. So is that? Has he relayed that to you, talked to you about you know, how difficult that might be? Because if you perform poorly, it might help his team. Uh, you know, we really haven't talked about that. Obviously, you know, he wants Rutgers to win the game, but he also, you know, wants me to play well. So, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, just a difficult situation. But at the end of the day, he's got a job to do, and so do I. And, you know, he's got to coach his team to the best of his ability to help him. Help them win the game, and I gotta try to play my best to help, to help us win. So, have you watched all their games? Uh, you know, I really haven't been able to just because you know we've been playing at the same time. Uh, the Iowa State week, uh, they played earlier in the day, but it, it was on BTN, but we didn't get it in uh, our area, so I was just keeping up a bit on my phone. But you know, I've, I've watched the film on them, you know, now, but I haven't been able to watch like TV behind that type of thing. So. What have you seen from them offensively? Uh, you know they're much they're they're improving every week. Uh, one big thing you know I really took away uh, is the the first uh, two two their second and third game they were down by like 14 and 21 I think and they came back and won both those games. So that just shows a lot about them as a team. Uh, just coming back from that, um, you know, and they have playmakers on their team. Uh, number one, especially Grant, he's a really dynamic player. Uh, just uh, you know, as a wideout, uh, and then in the uh, return game as well. Just when he gets a ball in his hands, he can do you know some crazy stuff, reversing field and all that. So yeah, we're gonna have to be ready to play. What do you guys?